Wow, this is a lot of blood. I thought Collins was in jail for helping Diaz. Yeah, well, apparently he had a very good lawyer because he got out a month ago. Any chance this connects with the two body drops we were looking at last week? Collins did have his throat slit, same as the other two. I mean, the only difference is that Collins was the only victim to leave behind one of these notes. Look familiar? I spoke to the families of the other victims, and they did get notes as well. They just didn't turn them in. Right. This is turning out to be one hell of a first day on the job. Yeah. Look at us, working together again, being targeted by a homicidal maniac. It was like a Monday. What about the rule? You said that she got a note, too? She did, but she's fine. She's at a conference in D.C. all week. Okay, so wait, you, me, Laurel, Renee all got notes. Curtis and Oliver didn't. No, oh, don't worry about me. I'm definitely not feeling FOMO over it. But we already know this killer's not only targeting people on the team. Collins was against vigilantes, and we didn't even know the other two victims. There has to be a connection. We just... Let's be patient. We'll find it. Maybe this will help. Collins' autopsy report. Thank you. Talk screen is clear. No defensive wounds. So he didn't fight back. This M.O. feels very familiar. When I, when I was undercover in Central City, the guys in Homicide were chasing after a serial killer with a very similar pattern. Throat slash and victims who didn't fight back. I'm going to give Captain Singh a call.